All right, guys. Well, I'm trying to uh, get my 2022 season kicked off here. Just got back from the NWTF convention and jumped out here today to do a little bit of uh, shed hunting and scouting. So I just jumped up a couple of deer here on this ridge and what we're looking for uh, again is just fresh sign uh, trails the ground is good and thawed right now which is odd for february and you can see fresh sign uh, droppings and again any food is kind of what you're looking for uh, what they've been eating on recently so to find your sheds and then walk through walk those trails out on these ridges like i am and get uh you know kind of figure out what they were doing look for rut activity rubs scrapes things like that on these timbered ridges because a lot of the times they head here to uh to the rut you're not going to find them out in the open at least here in missouri they they tend to stick to cover and you know so you got to get off of that food and things like that don't get me wrong you can you can do it occasionally but if you want to see that good rutting activity uh, you, you're going to have to get back here in this timber into this thick stuff like what you see here behind me. And the, what's down there below me to, uh, you know, really see that good all day activity. And now is the time of year to get in here and check that sign. So I don't know if you can see here. Yeah, you can actually see it a little better. There's a bed here. There is a bed over there that flat spot in the leaves and then there's one right here next to this tree um, more than likely these are does those bucks don't tend to bed that close together but we'll uh, we'll keep looking through here I'm trying to find a couple of particular sheds but uh, we'll keep working through this ridge I'm finding a lot of good fresh signs so it's a good sign hopefully I can uh, pick up a shed or two and gather some information for this year and uh, get on another one so you guys stick with us all right so i would say about 60 to 75 yards behind where i found those fresh bedding sign i come up the ridge a little bit typically your bucks are going to bed behind or further out than they do and spread out a little more um, I've gotten into some good sign good fresh sign as you can see this rub here and then also there's about two or three down there in those saplings they're kind of surrounding this whole area so it, this is kind of what you want to be looking for because of course you know them bucks are going to be making this stuff and kind of marking some territory where uh, does are going to be bedded so it's it's good to find this stuff now this time of year you know the hunting pressure has been off and uh again i don't like to put too much in these bedding areas but you got to do your research and and again find these trails coming in and out of areas like this so that way you can get on one of those trails i don't like to get into the bedding area but as tight as you can because uh, again, you're going to see a lot of that all day rutting activity, what you see on all these videos and everything. You're, you're going to start to, you know, see that good all day activity, but you're going to have to get in, find out where these areas like this are. Um, and you can even see there's all kinds. I'll turn it here, but you got fresh droppings here. Uh, they're really all over the place around here. There's a lot of good fresh sign right here. So, and again, sign from the rut. So this is gonna be an area I'm gonna mark on the map with Onyx and uh, make sure I try to find some trails coming in and out of here and get uh, this coming season, get hugged up in here as tight as I can. So, but uh, I'm also with this, we're doing, you know, we're scouting for turkeys too, looking for where they've been scratching in the leaves you know just different things like that you can do also while you're scouting because you know of course we got turkeys coming up here real soon so again just another good good time right now to just gather a lot of information and uh so we can be successful this year so we're gonna keep going at it and i'll bring you anything more that i got 
All right, I'm gonna try this and see how well it works, but I wanted to touch on this as well. Uh, one of the podcasts, we just discussed thermals and I wanted to kind of, for you that check out the YouTube page, which go to it and check it out. We're gonna have some more content coming in, but uh, we discussed thermals and how terrain, you know, can play with thermals. I don't know if you can see this or not, but the terrain change, see that valley or that drainage, uh, you know, whatever you would call it, low spot where waters run. These thermals will pull down this. And if you, you know, have high spots like you do, you can see over here, this one's coming down this way into it. Where I'm at is coming down this way. And it's all coming straight down the hill from here. And the reason I want to touch on this is because if you actually look around these areas, you will find fresh sign and bedding all around these. And especially your mature animals, your mature bucks, because especially in the evenings, these areas, they pull scent from almost all the way around them. About the only place it doesn't is from downhill. So um, they stay in these areas or bed. As a matter of fact, if you guys can look, here's a nice, good, fresh buck track right there. And I mean fresh as it gets. Buck track running. This game trail right here that I'm on. Uh, and they will bed in these areas because they can smell things and what they will do is they will face downhill so they can see anything down here and smell anything from either side and back behind them. So uh, just wanted to give you a little visual. Maybe we'll throw a map up here. But uh, again, for those of you that check out YouTube, uh, trying to put some visual things together so that way you guys got to kind of idea of what we're discussing with these thermals because they can be tricky especially with the terrain um, so again use your milkweed and find uh, you know find out what it's doing in your stand locations all right so this is on the other side of that valley or the drainage I was talking about and where deer will like to bed so they can smell everything behind them and around them and see everything in front of them well here is a good trail coming out of that area uh, and here i'll show you to if you keep coming i'll turn you around i'm walking on the trail coming out of here and as i walk down i come over here and i don't know if you can see it but there's a fresh rub here on this tree one a little bit further up in the middle of here there's about six or seven rubs right around here where again these bucks are marking their territory around this bedding and I hope you can hear me I'm trying to be a little quiet because there's something a bigger animal walking through the woods somewhere around me and I'm trying to figure out what it is before I go too far. So I'm going to keep walking this trail out, find out where it comes to food. But if I can locate this animal, I'll bring it on here too. But again, that's the sign you want to look for when you're uh, scouting these areas this time of year.
All right. <clears throat> the audio may be a little rough. It's gotten real windy. I'm standing here right by my truck just to, just to maybe so the audio won't be so bad. But um, I actually was getting ready to consider myself possibly the worst shed hunter that has ever been put on this earth. But uh, I actually did end up redeeming myself. And... There are my spoils for the day. Not too bad, actually. The one set, the bigger set you see sitting there is a matching set from a buck I call Deuces. It actually looks like it is from last year. Um, and I had a bunch of pictures of him, but he disappeared in the rut. And I never saw him, and I was fearing him dead, but it looks like he shed last year. These have been run over by the combine. Uh but uh it it looks like he made it through that season so i'm hoping that's a good thing we'll see what happens but uh again i just wanted to recap today guys now's the time of year get out there do some scouting the pressure's off even if you're walking through there right now by the time season comes uh those deer ain't gonna be worried about that they're gonna be right back in there so now's time to uh get your setups picked out get your on x maps uh, or whatever mapping system you have and get those places marked, get those trails, try to get a stand up on those tr transitions in between those two. But uh, again, it's almost turkey season. It's right around the corner. I'm ready. Just saw a group of nice long beards. So we'll, uh, we'll stay with it and hopefully be bringing you some more content. But again, uh, get out there. Check everything out. Do your scouting now. Pre-scout your trees. And uh, bring you some more success here come this fall and this and this spring as well. I found some good turkey sign, run into some turkeys, and uh, found some good scratching, some good tracks. I'll post all that stuff here uh, as soon as I get to it uh, later on today. But again, uh, good luck to everybody here. If I don't uh, talk to you before then and check out, we'll have a couple more podcasts coming here real soon so uh check those out before turkey season starts and we'll do them periodically throughout the season good luck everybody